But let's talk about daily life at uh, at the place at Red Hollow. Uh, what animals did you have? Did you have any horses? My dad had two horses that he bought at an auction. They were a couple of Broncos. One of them was <clears throat> pretty good and the other one was wild. <clears throat> and what did he use them for? To farm. Uh, to pull his farm uh, implements. D you didn't own a tractor? No. No, we just had that team of horses. Pat and Topsy. Yes. And did you have a vehicle of some sort? My dad had a 1925 Model T Ford. Mm. Yes, he bought it new from Philipson's Garage mm. for $345. Yes. And did you have any cattle? He had five or six cows that he milked, and a few pigs and a few chickens. And he would work off the farm if he could find some work. And he also worked for the township, uh, patch on the road, such as it was. The road was not graveled until 1936. It was dirt before that? Yeah, dirt and rocks. Yes. Yes. And you're, you had a garden that you raised vegetables? Oh, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And one time we raised a few beans, like green beans for cannery, but uh, that never made us much money. Without refrigeration, how did you store things, store food? You didn't have much choice but to put it in the basement where it was a little cooler, but uh, it, it was a, not good. One thing we had going for us is that cold spring. How far away from the house was that? Oh, half a block. And did you, you went every day and brought water up? Oh yes, oh yes. And what kind of stove did you have? We had a, a big round bellied stove in the living room and then a cook stove. The cook stove had shelves up above, and on the left-hand side, it had a place to heat water. Uh, that was our water heater. But the house was not insulated. It was a disaster. <clears throat> Back in the 30s, when it got so cold, it got 20, 30 below zero. And we'd have a, a water bucket, a drinking water on the stove on the end with a, with a dipper in it. Sometimes that would be froze solid. You could pick that, take a hold of that handle and pick that water pail up. It was ice. Yes. We weren't spoiled. It, it was a two-story house with their bedrooms yes. upstairs? Yes. And no way to heat the upstairs. That is correct. Did you take heated stones or something to bed, or how did you no, stay warm would, in bed? No, we would once in a while, we would warm the blankets a little down by the big stove and then run upstairs and jump into bed. But <laughs> we had uh, uh, blankets with feathers in them, like... Uh, down. Down. And we were always nice mm -hmm. and warm. Yeah. Yes. And you, you had some pigs that you butchered for yes. meat? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. How did you take a bath? Oh, they had a thing kind of like a oil cloth that made it kind of like a bathtub. But uh, not much, not much. You remember Kenny Johnson? 
See, we were classmates. We were schoolmates. He told me one time, <clears throat> we had it pretty tough when we were kids, he says, but we didn't have it as tough as those cop kids. I thought, wow. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. What, what did you tell me once at uh, one, one time... How much money did your parents have in, in the house? That's all they had. Nine cents. Nine cents. They had nine cents in the house. <laughs> but you know, if it hadn't been for the people in Argyle, the business people, the Philipsons and the Rossings and them that extended credit to the folks, we'd have never made her. But they always got their money. <laughs> They had to wait quite a while, but they always got all their money. And at that time, there were a lot of people that went on relief on the, you know, government. We never went on relief. Brother Lou says, we'll eat potato peelings three times a day before we go on relief. And we took great pride in that. Mm -hmm. Yes. But wasn't there a... So People who ran a grocery store that sometimes gave you sort of leftover food? Yes, they did. Food. Yes, they did. That was Victor Rossing. Yes. Like uh, ba banged up vegetables or something yes, that they couldn't yes, sell? Yes. Yep. 